Hi, I'm going to show you guys how to install Wireshark so you can look at packet captures or generate your own. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the Wireshark site. We're going to scroll down to their downloads and pick the appropriate operating system. In this case, I'm doing Windows 64 bit. We'll wait for this to finish and then we'll resume in just a second. Now that that's done, as with everything, we'll go to Virus Total and we'll quickly scan it just to be sure that it's on the up and up. And that looks great. So we will run this. Stick with all the defaults here. I don't like it on my desktop, so I take the start menu, quick launch, and we're going to associate trace files with Wireshark. Default location is OK. And PCAP allows us to actually take PCAPs ourselves, not just to look at some. And you'll notice there's also the option to have Win PCAP. Win PCAP is older, it's not maintained go with NPCAP. I'm not doing any USB work. You may be. If you are, select it. If not, that's fine. This is a setup for NPCAP, so we can do our native packet captures. I'm going to allow promiscuous mode for wireless adapters so that I can potentially see more traffic if it's available. The other two I don't mind so much, although uh, this is a little bit of a security concern. So if, if you're concerned about non-admins being able to use this, there's your option. Just to elaborate while we wait, the, uh, the concern would just be that as a non-admin user, you're not supposed to have many permissions. But if you can view all the traffic that's going out, then all of a sudden you have a way to see a lot more than you normally would. But in my case, I don't really care. And at this point, we have completed the install and we're gonna verify it first by opening up this capture that I already have. And we can see it's been associated with Wireshark. And when we open it up, it displays correctly. So that's awesome. We're also going to test out taking our own capture. I'm going to open a terminal over here. And I have kind of a simplified setup because I'm on a VM right now. I only have a single uh, adapter that's available. You may have several, in which case you're going to have to figure out which one's going out and, and carrying the traffic. Easiest way to do that is Let's see, let's bring up Wireshark again. And you can see we have Ethernet and I don't have any other adapters. And you saw a little bit of traffic. If you want to generate some more traffic to see exactly which interface is carrying everything for you, you could go to Google or YouTube or something like that. And you would just see traffic occurring there, whereas other ones might be more steady or non-existent. So we're going to, now that we've identified which one to use, we're going to use the Ethernet interface. We're going to do a capture and we are going to do a ping of google.com and immediately we see DNS for Google, so resolving the name of Google and we see ICMP, which is ping traffic going across. So everything works. And again, this is just uh, an intro. This was just intended to get you up and started for doing the Pico CTF.